Hey guys, this is Aldo with Wheels and Wheels, and today I'm sitting here in my Kia EV6. I'm wondering, are the new Kias going to be changed in the future to have the North American charging port from Tesla? As you may have heard, Ford last week announced that they will be switching to that new standard and using Tesla's charging network, as well as yesterday, GM Mary Barr announced that also GM will be switching to the North American charging port. So what's going to happen to the CCS chargers? So let's talk about all this now coming up next on Wheels and Wheels. So is Tesla making the right move in including all these other, other automakers into the Tesla charging network? Is it going to piss off Tesla owners or make them happy? I'm sure it may make other uh, EV drivers happy as they're going to feel less uh, range anxiety knowing that there are 12,000 charging, fast charging networks across the North America including US and Canada. So I think that it may be positive in some respects and also negative to possibly Tesla owners who may be, feel, may be feeling that they are being left out from uh, you know all these additional people using the network. Uh, right behind me is a couple of charging uh, networks, Tesla being one of them and EVgo. I'm going to show you how much usage of these uh, chargers are going on right now. It's today around 3.30 in the afternoon in Miami and we're at one of the local uh, shopping malls. Uh, there is no perks on this uh, charging station but there is a lot of activity going on right now. So as you can see behind me there's a Tesla charging stations right there being used and this was just put in like a few months ago and over on the other side over there there's a EVgo stations and we're going to go head out over there as well. So what Ford announced last week is that they're going to be switching all its cars uh, to use the Tesla network and starting in 2024 early they're going to provide uh, the adapters for these networks and in 2025 all the cars are going to come standard with this North American charging port as standard as well as GM also announced that they are also providing the adapters for the Tesla networks as well as in 2025 their cars are going to come standard with this network. So I'm wondering what is Mercedes-Benz going to do? They just announced at CES this year in 2023 that they're going to be investing $1 billion in North America for a Mercedes-Benz charging network. That's a lot of money. So is, is uh, Mercedes-Benz going to join GM and Ford in this change? It's uh, going to get interesting. And is this a big chess move and maybe checkmate uh, move that Tesla has done and Elon Musk in providing this network to other uh, cars to charge at. So it's going to be an interesting uh, battle coming up. Just like uh, Sony Betamax as well as the VHS wars that went on back in the early 80s as you may recall. So this may be the up and coming VHS Betamax wars coming up. <laughs> as you can see there's uh, quite a few Teslas being charged here right now and some of the guys are standing here at the uh, location. There is no um, no other perks on this station. It's just uh, straightforward charging. Uh, but one thing that is clear is that it's going to provide about $3 billion in additional revenue to Tesla uh, due to all these uh, chargers being used as well as other um, charging stations may have other perks like selling um, good soft goods, uh, food, candy, soft drinks. So they're going to be making a lot of money uh, and also being recurring income coming from these charging networks. So it's a big move from Tesla that they have provided this network to other car manufacturers. So what happens is that the current uh, owners of other makes like Kias, Hyundai's have the CCS networks which is the J1772 and it does AC charging here as well as DC fast charging using this whole area here. But what Tesla does is it uses one type of port for type uh, level 1, level 2, and level 3 DC fast charging. So the same port is used by uh, all types of charging levels, level 1, 2, and 3. So what Ford announced last year is that the 12,000 Tesla superchargers across the US and Canada with over 10,000 DC fast chargers that are already part of the Blue Oval Charge Network 
could be used by Ford owners and customers uh, accessing fast charging. The Mustang Mach-E, F-150 Lightning, and E-Transit customers will be able to access the superchargers via an adapter and software integration and activation and payment via Ford Pass or Ford Pro Intelligence. In 2025, Ford will be offered the next generation electric vehicles with North American Charging Standard, NACS, connector built in, eliminating the need for an adapter to access Tesla superchargers. So what is Electrify America going to do and EVgo as well as ChargePoint going to do? So as I'm going to show you right now, this uh, Tesla charger is being pretty widely used by Tesla owners. And over on the other side here in the parking lot, we have an EVgo station. And I don't see anyone there right now. It is good that they did install this uh, EVgo station here because there was really no fast charging around anywhere near this neighborhood. So that's a big plus. But what are these other fast charging stations going to do? Are they going to change their adapters for the North American standard or continue on with the CCS uh, charging network? So as you can see, they provide CCS charging and their adapters are, as you can see, the ones that with a different port right here. It's going to get really interesting to see what's going to happen with uh, all these other fast charging networks and are they all going to comply with this new standard that GM and Ford is using? What's going to be interesting for me, I think, is that what is Mercedes going to do with this since they announced that $1 billion investment that they were going to do? Uh, Mary Barr says that GM will be saving uh, about $400 million by using the Tesla superchargers by 2025. And GM cars themselves will be able to connect to all ports in North America, uh, Tesla standard by 2024. So as you can see here, the Tesla chargers, I don't think we can take this off yet because we haven't plugged in, but he, you can tell here that the adapter is very simple. So what they do is that they do both AC and DC fast charging using this type of plug. So it's very small, it's pretty convenient. Um, the only thing I can, I can tell you now that these uh, charging stations have a small lengthwise in their design. So Tesla may be updating that in the future, hopefully for other car manufacturers because their charging ports may be located in different areas of the car. So they might not really work well with GM and Ford chargers. So an advantage is it that you're going to be able to access a huge network in North America and you're not going to have any issues with uh, range anxiety and going on a trip. Also, um, Ford um, and GM combined revenue of $3 billion in services for Tesla over the next few years is another uh, um, big income strategy for Elon Musk and Tesla. As you can tell, the stock has gone up this week. Musk last month also told investors at Tesla annual meeting in Austin that he saw the Model Y midsize SUV becoming the top selling car in the world as early as next year. Musk also added that Tesla will be experimenting with advertising over the coming months, a move that will be a major positive for the stock. So guys, I guess we shall see what's going to happen with other car manufacturers as well as Hyundai, Kia, Mercedes, Lucid, Rivian. What are they all going to do? And uh, will they start using this new port? Is it going to be the winner or is the CCS and North American charging standard going to be the battle in the EV market? So it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen. And I hope you stay tuned to Wheels and Wheels and please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hey guys, so here we have a Rivian being charged behind me. And it's really cool to see this at the EVgo station here. That's right adjacent to the Tesla charging station. So as you can see that one of the stations is being used and he's got his brand new Rivian being charged up. Which is a stunner of a vehicle. So it's going to be interesting to see who wins the charging port battle between Tesla and other CCS car adapters. As you can see now, there's a whole bunch of Teslas being charged here at this location. So 
it's really getting a lot of use i don't know where all these other car manufacturers are going to fit into this charging scheme with only one charger left here at the moment so that's going to be something interesting to see as to how many are going to be open to ford and gm at this location right now a little while ago it was pretty empty but right now all the all the chargers are being used except for just one so it's going to get really interesting for sure <laughs>